Irving police charged the boyfriend of an Irving mother with murder after she was found dead Sunday night. 25-year-old Brianka McBride was going to cosmetology school. She was also a single mother with a five-year-old son. Tonight, family and friends are gathering for a vigil. Fox 4's Zahid Arab is at Cottonwood Creek Park. Zahid. Well, Clarice, that vigil just started a short time ago, and you can see a big crowd has gathered here to honor 25-year-old Brianka McBride, an aspiring cosmetologist and young mother that lost her life to a problem the family believes is preventable. We love you. We love you. For Yvette Crow and her daughter Jocelyn, the pain of losing a loved one to domestic violence is measured in tears. It was very devastating. The family of 25-year-old Brianka McBride says she went to her ex-boyfriend's apartment on the 1000 block of Lake Carolyn Parkway to collect her belongings Sunday and were concerned after not hearing from her. Just before 7, during a welfare check, Irving police say they found the 25-year-old dead inside the ex's apartment with a gunshot wound. She loved family. She loved family. She loved getting together to have family dinners and she was just a very loving child. Hours later, the ex, Shane Nelson, called police saying he wanted to turn himself in. He's now charged with McBride's murder. Be man enough to walk away. There's no reason in the world for you to put your hands on a woman or raise a, a, a gun to a woman. Detectives say the victim was in a relationship with Nelson. One family member is described as very short. The victim ended it recently. Last month, McBride posted this message to her Facebook page saying, I really wish I didn't have a heart. I never want to fall in love again. I never want to hurt. It just needs to stop. Five-year-old Caden will now grow up without his mother. It's hard to even think about you not being here with us anymore. Um, but Caden is going to be more than taken care of. With others out there in similar situations, families say no more pain and no more silence. I would rather for every woman that's going through domestic violence to actually be able to live to tell their story as opposed to someone preaching their eulogy. You can judge, see from this crowd of uh, about 100 here holding white and purple balloons in honor of the fight against domestic violence. Uh, now, we asked the family if McBride ever spoke of any abuse by Nelson. If there were any red flags that may have alerted them about the situation, they told us they'd rather not say since it's an ongoing investigation. As for Nelson, the ex-boyfriend, he is in, currently in the Irving jail held on a million-dollar bond. Clarice? Sahid, thank you.